Hey guys, Bigsy here. Welcome, welcome back to another video. Today I've got a really, really exciting video and I'm excited because I cannot wait to open this. And the day has finally come, the mystery box is here. If, I haven't, if you haven't heard, I bought a mystery box from one of you guys. So David, thank you so much for uh, making this happen. I cannot wait to get in here, this is going to be really exciting. Uh, so the story is, David messaged me a while back uh, offering me, hey, I've got some um, rare and expensive DS and 3DS doubles. Are you interested in them? And I said I was, but um, he didn't show me the games. And then we got talking, and then I brought up the idea of a mystery box. Fast forward a few months. Uh, I paid $700 for this box. I have no idea what's in here. Uh, David said there's over $1,000 worth of value. Um, I think it's 3DS and DS stuff, but he said it's multiple systems. He didn't tell me anything. I have no idea. I just have instructions to open it. So let's get into it, guys. Got our trusty pocket knife. A little box cutter. Oh, I'm so excited. I mean, it's one thing when you get an exciting package and you know what's in it, but I don't know what's in here, guys. Um,. I did show David photos of my collection, so I do know that there won't be any doubles in here, uh, which makes it even more exciting knowing that all these games will be going into the collection. Alrighty. Yo, enjoy these! I <laughs> love it. Right. There's notes on the um, front of them, so I'm going to read the notes first. It says, this is a remake of the Game Boy Advance games. The most expensive of the four 3DS Mario, Mario RPG games. Whoa! Got Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, Bowser's Minions. That is cool. Oh, that is really cool. Uh, so if you guys don't know, with DS, 3DS, Wii, Wii U, I've just sort of started collecting for these systems. I'll say uh, I've been doing it for about a year now. Um, Considering I've been collecting PlayStation games for almost 10 years. That's not a very long time for me. Um, but I'm not collecting everything. I'm mainly focusing on exclusives, in particular first party titles. So getting like Mario's and Pokemon's and things like that is definitely what I'm after. So I'm pretty excited with this first one. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, Bowser's Minion. For the next one. I like how he's put notes of everything because I'm not... Like, I have no idea what half this stuff's going to be worth. I'm going to have to look it up. <laughs> Not that I'm going to sell it, but I like to put values next to all my games. I put the price I pay for them and uh, how much they're worth. Super unusual RPG action game made by Grasshopper. Ooh. On Contact. I've never, ever seen this before. But it's an RPG, and you guys know I love my RPGs and JRPGs, so it sounds right up my alley. Through a host of beautiful islands on a quest to find the scattered remnants of the Professor's extraterrestrial power sword. This looks cool. They even got a, um, a manual cover, which is really cool. They're pretty hard to come by. Big manual. Nice. I'm pretty excited with that one. So that's Contact. That's a really, really cool looking cover too. So this is a DS game. The first one was for the 3DS. Alright. Like another... This one's 3DS. They're all like wrapped up. <laughs> really, really well. Ooh, it's sealed. This is called Hazuru. German PAL exclusive. This is freaking factory sealed, just done by the publisher. Wow, this is cool. 
Now this is cool. This is an obscure, um, looks like a puzzle game. I've never seen this before in my entire life, so it's pretty cool. And I believe it's in German. Um, yeah, it's a German exclusive, so that's pretty cool. So we have Pazuru. Off to a really good start, guys. We got another sealed one. Oh, no way. Oh, Metroid Samus returns and it's sealed down. That is nice. Oh, wow. Exactly what I'm looking for for my collection. First party titles, big Metroid game. I'm pretty excited for this one. You guys know I love my sealed stuff, so really, really appreciate that one, Dave. Again, that's Metroid Samus Returns. Ooh. Ooh. This one's a big box. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, no way! Ah, it's Harvest Moon! Oh, I love Harvest Moon. Oh. Uh, if you don't know, I'm currently playing for Stardew Valley for like the third time. I just love like um, Rune Tide Factory, Harvest Moon, Stardew Valley. Oh wow, this is so cool. Oh, it's so cool. Harvest Moon 3DS Limited Edition. So this is the limited edition for Skyfall Village. It's funny that it doesn't really have a front. <laughs> that is cool. By NIS America and Natsum. Oh wow, that's cool. And it's sealed. Wow, that is really cool. Got a beautiful artwork on it. The chicken, the horses, the dog. So cool. The cows, I guess. Wow, that one's really cool. Alrighty, what do we got here? One kick-ass Zelda game. Ooh, baby, I love my Zelda. And it's sealed. Ooh. We got The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. Fuck, oh, that is cool. Oh, I'm stoked to have this one. I do have a couple of Zelda games, but I don't have this one. Uh, so that's actually really, really exciting. Again, The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. And this one's sealed. Really, really exciting to get this one, guys. Ooh, a rhythm title. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if it's Hatsune Miku or something. I seen Sega. Oh no way! It's Rhythm Thief! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, I don't know much about 3DS collecting, but I know Rhythm Thief. Okay, I know the American version is like one of the most expensive games out there. I'm not too sure about the PAL version, but... Oh my god, that's exciting. I was looking this up yesterday. <laughs> and it's sealed. Oh my god. Rhythm Thief and the Emperor's Treasure. Wow. I did not expect that, Dave. Holy shit. Ah. <laughs> I don't know what the PAL versions were. I know what the Americans were, but... Um, I would assume that they're similar in price. I could be completely wrong. Alright, this looks like a DS title. Ooh. 
Google this one. Very expensive, a very late DS release. All right, let's look this one up before we move on. This one is Solar to Robo. Ooh. Thing my keyboard was there. <laughs> Red the Hunter. This one looks cool. I'm going to do a Google of it now so we all can find out during the video what this one's worth. Called Solar. The fuck? Dude, there's one copy on eBay for over $300. What? Wow. Just a note, I won't be selling any of these games. They're all going into the collection, guys. Um, but, oh my god. Dave, you didn't have to do that. What? I'm just going to change the screen so you guys can see. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! We've still got more games in the box, guys. This is crazy. Oh my god. I know I was expecting a big package, but this is blowing my expectations out of the water. I didn't have a note in here. Oh, that's just a blank piece of paper. Alright. First party game for ya. Alright. Ooh! And it's Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker. I was actually going to buy this the other day. I'm so glad I did it because now I've got a sealed copy. <coughs> That's exciting. Toad. Well, pretty much all the um, Super Smash characters. I'm going for those type of games. Your real first party Nintendo stuff. Really happy to have this one. Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker. Oh, that's cool, man. I've got, like, party games on the Wii and the, f the Wii U. Um, I don't even think I've got any on the Switch, which is pretty crazy. Alright, there's still more stuff in here. Let's get to the bottom of it. Yeah, we got another DS title by the looks of it. Japanese RPG. Very, ooh, very expensive nowadays. I know this game. Oh, it's sealed too. Oh, man. Blue Dragon Awakened Shadow. Now, I'm familiar with Blue Dragon on Xbox 360. I don't know if this was released after it or before. Okay, we released after it, 2010. Wow. And this is the English version? That is cool. I'm really happy with this one. Apart from first party titles, JRPGs, you know, as you know, I love my JRPGs, so I try and get them for every system. Um, they're just so expensive because JRPGs are just so good, so I'm really happy to add a couple more today. And again, is Blue Dragon Awakened Shadow. Oh, we got a Switch game, guys. I didn't think there was any Switch stuff in here. That's cool. Okay, this little note says Japanese RPG. I've never heard of this. No Loon High School Chronicle. This looks right up my alley, though. Wow, I'm really happy to have this one for the collection. This would literally be like the type of thing that I would order on eBay and spend like an arm and a leg getting, so I'm really, really happy to get it. Live the life of a high school treasure hunter in this RPG classic. Number one for the Switch collection. Again, that is No Loon High School Chronicle. Still got more stuff in here, guys.
Not sure if you had this one. It's another Switch game. And by the look of the spine, I don't think I do. And I actually think this is on my list. If this is Ace Eternity. It is? Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. The Great Ace Eternity Chronicles. This is a game I was actually after. The sealed copy. Oh, I'm so happy to have this one, Dave. Thank you so much, man. Amazing art style. Capcom title. Again, that's the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles for the Switch. It's actually the American version. I'm not sure if it did receive a PAL release. Um, considering Dave's in the UK, I would say it didn't. Um, probably got a Japanese release, though. I think there's one more game in the box, guys. Let's have a look. One more, and it's another Switch game. It says... Oh, I can't see it. No intro needed. Yeah, boy, coming with the big ones. Metroid Dread. We got a sealed copy. I've yet to play this, and I do want to dig into it. I've heard amazing things about this game, uh, like all the Metroid games. Uh, but it's great to see him still releasing new Metroid games in 2021, and let's hope we see more in the future. So that's it, guys. That's the mystery box. Um... I am absolutely blown away with what we've got today. I can't thank Dave enough for organizing this. Uh, I'm so grateful for this, man. Like, I really appreciate it. You didn't have to do it. I know you've spoke about maybe doing another one in the future, and I'm, like, hands down, I'm all for it. Um, wow, that was amazing. Like all videos, guys, let's stack it up. Stack It Up is here to stay. Look at that. Mystery box. Wow. I am absolutely blown away with what we've got today. Uh, you won't be able to wipe this smile off my face for a few days, guys. If you like the video, be sure to like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite game from this lot. Like, how crazy was it? Oh, my God. <laughs> Till next time, guys. Happy hunting. I've been Figsy, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.